Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 18. The problem is consider the system with state equation, right? x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot and this is a A matrix plus this is a B matrix multiplied by U of t and y is nothing but output. It is given by 1, 0, 0 which gets multiplied with x1, x2, x3. Estimate the state controllability and observability by Kalman's test. Right. With the help of Kalman's test, we are going to test the state equation, whether it is controllable or observable. So, here the first thing is, from the problem, we are taking A. Right. So, this is your A matrix. Okay, this is your A matrix. First, we are checking for our controllability. So, the next thing is, we need to calculate A square. A square is nothing but A into A. Right. So, A multiplied with A here. So, when you do multiplication, we are ending up with the matrix like this. I hope you people are familiar with matrix multiplication. Right. To get this term, that is, this row should get multiplied with this column. Right. So, it is 0 here. That is 0 into 0 plus 0 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0. So, it is 0. To get this number, the same row should get multiplied with the second column. That is 0 into 0, 0 into minus 3 plus 1 into 2. So, answer is 2. And finally here 0 into 1, 0 into 0 plus 1 into minus 3 gives you minus 3. Right. So the same way you just complete this matrix multiplication. So then the next step is A square into B. So just now we had calculated the value of A square and this A square gets multiplied by B. What is B? So B is in the given problem. Right. This is your B matrix here. So just take these values and substitute it down. So A square into B. Now we have to multiply. So as you all know, you see here this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 1 matrix. So here this 3, 3 will cancel each other and finally you will be getting the matrix of the order 3 by 1. Right, that is the matrix will be having 3 rows and 1 column. So, here, this is your respect to answer, right? That is, this term gets multiplied with this 0 into 0 plus 2 into 2 plus minus 3 into 0. So, which gives you 4. Again, 6 into 0 plus 9 into 2 minus 2 into 0. So, 9 twos are again 18. So, again here, minus 4 into 0 minus 12 into 2. 9 into 0. So, 12 minus 12 into 2 gives you minus 24. Right. So, here we are getting A into that is we finished that. Next, we are proceeding with A into B. So, this is your A matrix and this is your B matrix. Okay. These two things are directly available from the problem. Again, the same case when you multiply these two matrices, finally we are ending up with this matrix. Right. So, here the composite matrix for controllability. For controllability, what is the basic thing is this complex matrix QC is equal to B, A, B, A square, B. Right. We know what is B. We had calculated what is A, B and previously we had calculated what is A square, B. Right. So, just substitute the values. So, this is your B. And this AB, this column gives AB and this column is A square B, right. So, after substituting, the next step is we have to calculate the determinant of QC, right. So, when you take the determinant, I hope you people are familiar with this. Again, this comes under max. You see, this is 0, right. So, 0 multiplied by minus 6 into minus 24 minus of 4 into 18 right this is 0 so you have to leave this column and this row and you have to multiply like this right first you have to multiply these two numbers minus of these two numbers anyways the entire term gets multiplied by 0 so it is a 0 similarly for the 
second term it is also 0 so you just click and leave it as 0 plus the last term is 4 here so 4 what happens okay you have to leave this row and this column so 2 into 4 is 8 here and again here it is 0 so 8 plus 0 so finally it is 4 into 8 which is nothing but 32 right so since the determinant of qz is not equal to 0 right and again the rank of qz is equal to 3 right because this matrix qc is a 3 by 3 matrix here therefore the system is said to be completely state controllable right here the thing is we have to calculate the matrices for b a b and a square b that's the thing just you have to substitute you have to take the determinant value if the determinant value is not equal to 0 and at the same time this rank value should match with the map matrix a rank value right so here in this case both the rank value is equal to 3 therefore the system is completely state controllable now we are proceeding with Kalman's test for observability right so here again there are something to be followed again we are going to find a matrix and again we are going to take the determinant right so here the thing is bit different first step is you have to take a transpose right so this is your a matrix you have to take transpose so a transpose is nothing but you have to convert rows into columns so here you see 0 0 1 this row is modified into column here and again this row is modified into column and again this row is modified into column right and the next thing is ct okay so here what is c c is given in the problem you see this matrix is known as c matrix right so here c transpose again we have to change rows into columns right and the next thing is a transpose the whole square right so we had calculated a transpose so we have to square both a transpose matrices right this is an one a transpose matrix this is another a transpose matrix we have to multiply these two so once you multiply here we are ending up with a matrix like this right and the next step is we need to calculate a transpose c transpose so we know a transpose as well as c transpose right just substitute the values accordingly and when you multiply finally we are ending up with a matrix like this and again the next thing is we need a transpose whole square c transpose so a transpose whole square here we are getting this answer multiplied by c transpose is this one right when you multiply these two matrices again the final answer is 0 2 and minus 3 so here we are framing a matrix you see this matrix has the following elements c transpose a transpose c transpose and finally a transpose whole square c transpose right so c transpose we know we had already obtained from the given problem and the next is a transpose c transpose we have calculated and again a t whole square c transpose we have calculated already so just substitute it accordingly over here right and the next step is again we need to calculate the determinant value here the determinant value is equal to minus 2 again the determinant value is not equal to 0 right and again the rank of q naught is this is your q naught that is observability matrix so here the rank of q naught is again 3 by 3 right so it, the rank is 3 so again the system is said to be completely observable therefore this problem that is from the given problem the system is completely controllable as well as observable right here comes the end of this problem if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.